Alright, so today we're going to learn another tune called Jump at the Sun. <laughs> it's a really cool name. It's also a really funky minor jig written by John Kirkpatrick. It's a modern jig. It's not an old traditional tune, but it's really weird and I love it. <laughs> I love weird songs. Um, I originally learned it in the key of D, D minor, but I've also often heard it played in the key of E minor. So we're going to learn it in both keys and in this video I'll leave timestamps in the description box below. So if you want to jump to one key and learn it in that key first, then you can just skip to whatever part you want to learn. So first I'll give a demonstration playing it quite fast in D minor and then I'll jump into E minor and then we can learn it slowly starting in D minor and then we'll speed it up and then we'll learn it again in E minor starting slow again and speed it up. It's completely different fingerings but it's the same note spacing so it's the same tune. So here it is in both keys played very fast as a demo. strings, but D minor has a raised third finger as a G sharp, which is a little bit more tricky in my opinion than the B flat that often pops up in the E minor version. So trade-offs. But we're going to start with it in the key of D minor, played very slowly at 40 beats per minute. So that tempo. And um, this is in the key of D minor in this version. So there's one flat, a B flat. But there's also a G sharp often, which makes it a very weird D minor. <laughs> sharp in there. It's just this extra funky note that makes it really cool. It's like this like someone sneaking up on you kind of phrase. So it starts on a D um, and then we go D, F natural, A, G sharp. And that phrase you'll hear a lot in the A part. So it starts off playing that twice, so and the G sharp is quite tricky, so let's do that nice and slowly. One, two, set, two, three, go, two, three. Let's do that. One, two, three, go. 
two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three. And now we go back to our original little section that we already know. If I could talk and play at the same time. So D, F, A, G sharp, play twice. So let's put all that together since that's very familiar. So it starts off with that. again the B part. That same pattern like high note, two double A's. So let's go into the B part. So it starts on a D. So D, A, A, D, E, F natural. We'll just start with that. So let's start with that. One, two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three. Now, going back to that pattern of high note and two A's. So that's E, A, A, G, F natural, E. So. So 
let's do that. One, two, set, go. And now we repeat that first measure that we played. D, A, A, A. So, that's the same as the first measure. So it, it actually sounds like this. So we already know that um, pretty well, but then we go,
start to speed it up. We're going to try it at 60 beats per minute. Let's play the same thing again. One, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three.
but there is an A sharp. You could think of it as. Strange. But that's kind of what we're doing. It's not quite a normal E minor um, because of that A sharp. Or you could think of it as a B flat. A lower one on the A string. So let's learn the tune. And there are some flies buzzing around. I left the door open because it's hot <laughs> and the bugs came in. So just ignore them. They're living their best buggy life. They're not hurting anyone. <laughs> so um, a phrase that you'll hear often in the A part is E, E, G, B, A, A sharp. repeated a lot. So it starts off by repeating that twice. So let's start with that really slowly. One, two, three, two, two, three, step, two, three, go, two, three. And then we do with an open E. C, B, A, G, A, F sharp. So let's just do that little phrase. One, two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three. it sounds like this. So let's do that. One, two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three. again. E, G, B, A sharp. Just like the beginning. And now the ending part is very similar to the only instead we're going to take the first part of that and add a little tagline at the end. sounds like this. So let's do that. One, two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three.
So now let's learn the B part. The B part, um, you might remember the that concept of like a high note and two low notes. You'll hear that a lot in the B part. <laughs> so it starts on an open E. And we start with that very familiar little piece. That's something that's in the A part. But then it goes, so it goes E, B, B, and then E, F sharp, G. So let's start with that. One, two, three, two, two, three, set, two, three, go, two, three. And now we do an F sharp, F sharp, B, B, A, G, F sharp. So, so together it sounds like this. So let's do that. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, go, two, three.
together. That's the whole tune. So let's do that. The A part sounds like this. As a little bit of memory. So now let's play the whole tune one time through, playing the A part twice and the B part twice. One, two, three, two, two, three, up, two, three, go, two, three.
was a demonstration tempo. One, two, three, go. So I'll play it in one key and then I'll go up a step and I'll play it again or I'll go down a step. And just like using the different fingers and still trying to play the same intervals between the notes. It's really hard and it's something you don't really do a lot in classical music and it's really handy to get proficient at that <laughs> for folk music. So let's just try that first in D minor and then again in E minor at 100 beats per minute. So slower than we were just doing. One. Two, set, go. when you go into another key. And then there's a lot more tunes that are in E minor that you can go into after that. So it's a little bit harder. There aren't very many jigs in D minor. Sometimes stepping up into E minor can open up the door as far as sets go. So that's the tune. Um, I don't really do a lot of ornamentation on E minor. I'll sometimes do slides into the E um, and then for the most part I do the same bowing which is long short long short long short long that's like the bowing I do for pretty much the entire tune um, I've tried adding ornaments to this and it just kind of sounds muddy in my opinion um, I don't know I'm sure there's better fiddle players out there that can make ornaments sound really awesome in this tune. I'm just not one of them. I just kind of play the notes. So, <laughs> um, but hopefully that was helpful and that you can now play it in whichever key you wanted or maybe both. That's pretty cool. And that you have fun practicing. Bye! <laughs>